left five into. And here comes Johnny Milner, second overall in that fierce fight with Mark Higgins. This is up towards the famous Sackfield hairpin. Let's see how he tackles it down the box. Round he goes in the handbrake. Bit of a hesitation in the gear shift there. Let's look at the clock. Can Johnny beat Mark? Over the finish, four and a half seconds quicker than Higgins and that reduces the gap to 0.4 of a second. This is the second stage the lads have run this morning and the gap is down to less than a second between this man, Mark Higgins and Johnny Milner. Only 0.4 of a second, I've got the clock on. And here comes Johnny now. Okay, I make him 0.6 of a second slower than Higgins, so Higgins one second up with Milner at this point. Woo. So Mark was up at the split, but let's see what time he'll post. Over the line, 7.45 decimal two. Can Milner beat it? Opens two of a finish. Johnny towards the end, look at the clock. Can he beat Higgins? No. 1.4 slower, so that puts the gap at a slender 1.8 seconds. But look at this, this is Paul Burr getting it totally wrong, locks up under braking, big moment, grinds to a standstill, trying to get reverse, not selecting, go forward, handbrake turn, back round, but that's 20 seconds gone at least. Yes, Robbie, and 13th overnight, Matt Wilson was 11th now and finding the Manx roads a bit of a challenge. Neat right four, left five. So this is how the battle looks after stage seven. Two stages into the day, there's nothing in it between Higgins and Milner. Dougie Hall had got away with a puncture on stage eight, but stage nine had worse in store. Here's Robbie. This is Dougie Hall into 90 left. Bang! Listen, bad noises coming off that focus. Puncture. Puncture. Not surprising after that impact. Okay, he's going to have to stop and change it. Stay to the right, stay to the right, here. But have a look at this for a comedy moment. Watching the left hand side of the screen. Look at that, Marshall. What's he about to catch? Diggy Hall's wheel. But the pace was high, the margin for error low. In sixth place, Eugene Donnelly trying very hard. Austin McHale was in fifth spot, but Johnny Milner must have been delighted to see his nearest points rival slipping further and further back. He was 18 seconds adrift of fourth place Derek McGarity, and he was a massive 53 seconds behind Kenny McKinstry, still in third place. And still in second, Johnny Milner. He'd set just one fastest stage time this morning, but it always had been close, and he was still glued to the rear end of the Skoda. Three fast times, and Higgins was still locked together with Milner as their epic battle took them into the hot afternoon of the championship's longest day. Less than two seconds between them after over 90 miles, and it was definitely a two-way battle for victory, which neither of them actually need.